In the upcoming video, Noam Chomsky is critical of large language models like ChatGPT. Chomsky argues that ChatGPT doesn't achieve true understanding of language. He considers it a form of high-tech plagiarism that revolves around statistical mimicry, not genuine comprehension. Let's view the wonderful clip of Noam Chomsky and following some other points he has made. That's an important question. There are really two questions. One, there's, you read the press, there's, and the commentators, intellectuals, it's called a huge uh, new era of, we're entering a new era. The leading correspondent of the New York Times, Thomas Friedman, wrote an article about how uh, we're entering a Promethean era, a new era of discovery, understanding. It'll put all the past behind us. Well, there are basically two questions. One is a question about science. One, a question about engineering. They're different. Can One question, can these systems contribute anything to science? Can they teach us anything about language, about learning, about human cognition, and so on? And the answer to that is flat no. They are designed in principle so they can teach us nothing. They get better at doing what they're doing. It'll bring out this fundamental flaw more evidently. So that's the science part. Then comes the engineering. And here's where your question arises. Like any engineering achievement, a hammer, a bulldozer, the nuclear energy, chat boxes, whatever it is, you can ask, is it useful? Is it harmful? The technology doesn't care. Take a hammer. The hammer doesn't care whether a torturer uses it to beat somebody's head in or whether a carpenter uses it to build a house. And it's the same with every other technology. So what about these things? Well, we know they have a lot of harm. That's already been demonstrated. They're ter and it's barely beginning. They're terrific techniques for disinformation, defamation. It's already been tried a little bit. I don't know if you saw the caricatures of the Pope. It's pretty easy with modern technology to put together chatbot, uh, visual manipulation, voice manipulation, and put, put together a simulation of you It'll look very real, saying some horrible, idiotic thing. Uh, it's easily possible. So there's going to be plenty of that. A ton of disinformation, especially as soon as big states and other big power centers become involved. Uh, one of the worst parts is it preys on human gullibility. People tend to think that these things are real. They start asking them questions. Should I leave my wife? Should I change my job? And they get back some totally ludicrous answer and they follow it. There are cases on, plenty of cases on record already. I mean, there are even people who do that with things like uh, Alexa, you know, ask it questions, somehow thinking somehow it's real. It's a, uh, or 2D2, you know, a little cute little robot who answers your questions. That's very dangerous. Uh, there are other dangers. Plagiarism, for example. I mean, basically, chatbot is high-tech plagiarism. It's just scanning tons of material and sort of duplicating something like what's there. But it can very easily be used for students who want to fake their way out of courses and so on. Uh, but that's just, I think that's one of the minor dangers. Uh, there's other ways to deal with that, like make the courses interesting. So nobody wants to fake their way out of it. And that's the answer to that. But uh, uh, if you have a stupid course that you're not interested in, why shouldn't you fake your way out of? But uh, the, uh, 
but there might, these dangers are real, quite real. As you probably know, about a couple of thousand of the major uh, workers in AI have recently called for a moratorium on their development because they're afraid of the negative consequences. There are some useful consequences, like the these things have tremendous computer capacity, search capacity, and they've been used to solve, help solve some real problems. Like it's, there's a major problem in biology about how proteins fold. You know, the DNA provides information that causes proteins to take a particular shape. And the problem of working out how they do it and it's been a very hard one. There's just a lot of computing involved. And the computing capacity of these systems has helped to resolve that problem. So like I say, technology can be valuable, can be harmful. It's up to the communities to control the technology to decide which way it'll go. Noam Chomsky suggests that relying on such models discourages actual learning. He compares it to students using smartphones as a crutch instead of engaging with the material. Chomsky's theory of universal grammar proposes that humans have an innate capacity for language acquisition. He believes ChatGPT's approach doesn't address this concept. Chomsky emphasizes the potential dangers of AI for spreading misinformation and creating deepfakes. He advocates for careful development and regulation of AI. Well, I hope you like the video and give the channel a subscribe. If you wish, you can join the channel as a member, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you would subscribe to my other channel, Progressive Movement, the link is on the homepage and in the comment section. Now, take care and bye-bye.